Welcome back. Okay, we are back in for the final series of the day. Team Secret versus Troublemakers Reborn. Team Secret, we'll see how this new stack is going to go here. Oh, beat OG. <laughs> beat the world champions. Yeah. Well, be beat the world champions with an asterisk. Yeah, Cogs come through here. Wisson could be in a lot of trouble. Kids go. Could be able to stand his ground. The right click's coming through. The Eidolons. Is it going to be first? It is. It's going to be enough. And Avalanche can't get the kill onto Kizko with the Sakuchi through. I don't know, dude. Put a capper on the end, but we can we, we can put a price now and see. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tell you what. If we get up to a thousand Twitter followers, which I'm on six seven five already, goes to Rob's Twitter and follows him. You get the underwater thing. The little grenade comes out here. Toby couldn't be a little bit of trouble. Cogs are gonna be dropped as well. Toby can get himself away. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage off to Wesson once again. The Bachelor Soul only does so much. The swarm is down. Toby he might still go down here. Kids go snowball onto Avalanche. Avalanche, he's not gonna be able to get himself away, or is he? Sakuchi comes out just at the right time. And the Weaver will have. Ooh, the Blood Grenade it didn't actually connect here onto Avalanche. There's no nice shards, enough damage, it traps him in. Sakuchi up in three seconds, trying to eat himself through the trees here. Avalanche, though, might just be away. We'll be able to get the. Yeah, Sakuchi back. Underneath the tier one tower. Uh, Sal Saligo, we don't do spoilers here. I'm sorry, dudes. We d we don't need to know what score it is. Uh, we are on a delay, so please refrain. <laughs> do you know 324 other people? As Toby will be able to get the kill into Avalanche here, and the pressure coming out on this lane, even with the swarm coming through these Eidolons, this combination, like you say, with the tag team here on the Tusk. Yeah, the, the pressure coming through onto this tier 1 tower already being applied to this. Weaver, uh, Cogs comes through as Kisco once again, though. Like I say, it's really not Kisco that's the big threat. It's the Eidolons and Malefist. The damage coming through. Snowball's going to keep Kisco alive a little bit longer as the Eidolons just continue to do damage. He will be able to get the kill. Mr. Luck does fall on the top lane. Toby can get himself away from this one. It's a lot of damage coming through, but I think Toby might just be able to walk himself out. Atlantic trees get broken, but I think he was already in the animation of diving down here. Avalanche being chased down. Look at the damage coming through. Atlantic, he cleans up both. While this is going, I mean, you look at the last hits as well in the mid lane. Atlantic having a really good time. That was why Tusk went through a phase of building the Helm of the Overlord. Um, so pulled off. How are you doing, dude? What rank is Radiant team? I think they're in. 500s to a third. I think the 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 largest number was 1300 and something. Why does that Ugh. sound? Yeah. Oh, mid lane. I don't think gonna be jumped on here. Western as well as um. I want to say Spam Neon. SB Neon. If they do get the kill onto Western now. Is SB Neon gonna move himself away? Kids go. Gonna take some damage. The rotation's coming through from Puppy now as well. So feeling comfortable just to leave the CK on the lane. <laughs> So yeah, tower is going to be pushed in here. You can see the secret already making rotations, looking to take these buildings down. As uh, SB Neon Snowball is going to come through. Battle Strike doesn't connect though, and neither will the Snowball. But it looks like Vortex back here. Kisco is he going to live? Wall's Punch comes through again. Hand of God going to be keeping Kisco fully down healthy. SB Neon trying to run himself away from this one. Monkey King dives himself in with the Jingu. Is he going to be able to get enough damage onto the Storm Spirit? Storm Spirit will be away, but the Sentinel might not be so lucky. Ice Shards traps him in on the staircase here. The Balance Strike, it connects onto two. And now the Snowball onto the Rubik. Rubik, can he get himself away? And he even connects onto the Storm. I thought the Storm might have gone for a ball lightning there to stop that Snowball from connecting. So going to be chased down. They do get the kill. Speedy Neon. Goes back into the creep. You gotta be careful here. Malefice. It is up. SB now not with a lot of mana left here. Monkey King maybe gonna try and look for the chase. Is that gonna be a BKB? It's gonna be Maelstrom. He's got the Maelstrom. Yeah. Javelin fly now. The Curry already has that. Let's haste his puppy. Let's get a kill onto Wesson. Can he go for more into this one? Jump comes in. So it can. Well, the telekinesis will be here. The ice shards were off. So it can just gets dragged right back up to the high ground here. Real Rift comes through. And SB on Neon. Gotta be careful because there is a full team. Yeah, the Centaur has fallen out of the meta for a reason. Um, partly because of the build-up. Yo, you've got the Eternal Shroud isn't that useful anymore. Um, you want Aura Builders, so you still want the Dark Sea. You still want, like, the Enigma. Uh, 
That's Atzantic just going for the tree dance. Left, right, and center. Atzantic better than Prime Misha here. Chaos Bolt connects onto the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit. Because Dumpy did get used to try and get himself away safely here. Real Exer, though. The Rubik now gonna be so lucky. He gets taken down. Kizko still gets a kill onto Neon. And now, oh, Mr. Luck will fall. GG is gonna be called West, and they just call it. Game number one is over. 13 minutes. I think the quickest game of the day. And uh, Troublemakers, yeah, they just say, you know what? There's no way back into this one. We're just gonna give it up. Stay away from the tower, puppy. Do not, do not get baited by the lure of the tower. Oh, man, yeah. Wesson is uh, really kind of playing with fire here. But, uh, well, here he goes. Got the bodyguard up. The damage coming in. Puppy in some trouble and Run. will be losing his life again. Two kills onto Puppy now. Okay, well. Zerg can... Away from there. Again, just, just constantly getting poisoned up here. Kaisko just chasing. Avalanche is coming in, but there's the uh, heal coming out onto the both of them here. Forcing Avalanche back and getting the kill onto Zergkin. So, overall, you know, Cersor has done much better than I was expecting. He's been able to get a bit out of this lane, which, considering you're playing into a pretty hard counter matchup, is uh, kind of impressive. As now Avalanche starts to deal damage onto Puppy. Puppy is going to die. Trades his life for the Ursa, though. And I'll move on towards Western as well. The slows are really starting to stack up onto this Marcy. Zergkin going to have to try and go for the deny here, but it's going to be tricky and not possible in the end. Kaizko gets a double kill. Now moving on to Zergkin as well. Zergkin trying his best to stand his ground. The heal is out from Kaizko, and he's the one who gets a triple kill in the end. Troublemakers, they try to make some trouble in the bottom lane, but it just ends up with three of them dead. Did kill Puppy. And Mr. Luck up on the top side, also suffering now. The support is gone. Kaisko does go down due to the wraparound from the Ursa, but Mr. Luck gets caught up in the top side as Mr. Luck grabs that kill. Uh, stack up these Plague Wards everywhere. And it's just really annoying for the Ursa to try and have to deal with these. Toby's also placed them very nicely as Zantic makes the first move of the game down to the bottom side, looking to just block this Chikiro. Will be able to do so. Running around now, looking for the Boundless Strike. Sees the Ursa Puppy. Oh, nice ulti there from Avalanche. Gonna save his life from Zantic. Zantic, though, just happy to just take chunks out off this Ursa. In comes Mr. Luck, back from the dead, looking for the kill onto Puppy. Not gonna get it, though, and he's just gonna end up going down here as well. In fact, Zantic jumping past him, looking for Avalanche, trying to bring down the Ursa. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to catch him. All that said, he's got the Simeon stride up. He's full HP. He's gonna keep on chasing. A server ward planted down as well to try and finish the job, and he gets him! Oh my god, what a play from Zantic to finish off that kill and then spectre will come in and connect again so it's a really good spectre game just because of how potent monkey king and venom are and then you see mid lane look venom sets it up and this time around the monkey king will come and uh, you know collect the freebie yoink still it's the makings of the same game as last time I mean, he utilizes the uh, Simeon Strider ridiculously well as well. Yes. It's a combination of Twin Gates plus Simeon, and he's just everywhere. <laughs> Avalanche and Western were nearby, but couldn't help out with Zergkin whatsoever. Is in towards the middle lane now as well. Okay. I hear Shad, and uh, once again, he's looking for aggression. This time onto the Lena, and they might just be able to bring her down. Right click's coming through thick and fast. Toby gets the kill. Mr. Luck is here. No level 6 available, though, so no duel possible. They're just going to walk away. Does not hit it from a creep, but it's too little, too late. It's down to the bottom side at Zantic and Puppy strike again and this time they find the Marcy. Looks like I was gonna say Legion's gonna give up the go but she's not she's running in she wants the kill she wants the duel will she, she find it a little bit more damage oh. is required and they're not gonna get it down goes the Legion instead. Toby gets oh. away Zerkan's gonna fall as well just when you think something might be going their way it doesn't. And then straight to the bottom what do you want me to say Nomad this game is just uh, it's over before it Radiant's even began. It didn't begin to. Mid lane? Yeah, Wesson is going to live this one, I think. Naturally, Puppy oh. will die. Puppy death fall? Looks like it. Got him, boys. Oh, bot lane, though. Yeah, another day. Another jump onto Avalanche. Another upset bear. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Zantic now unstoppable. 605 on the Monkey King. Yeah, this is some insane team getting Twin Gate utilization this game. 
Last game they did a lot. This game they're doing a ridiculous amount, though. Nice timing on the uh, pressy attack. Going to stop him getting knocked back. And now they're jumping in. They want to try and kill the guy. Everything being used onto Atlantic, And he's just giving him dual damage. And another kill over onto Wesson. So I could try to get out. The Boundless Strike is there, though. It's a complete massacre up in the top side. Ooh. Yeah. Puppy's dead again. Ooh, another death happened. Yeah, okay. So we're putting on KDA. <laughs> At least his Jakara is 0 and 8, making Puppy feel uh, a little bit vindicated. My call scoreline looked like this, so that hers can look like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And all the memes. The rush from the uh, Spectre just further amplifies any mispositioning from Radiant. Beat Boop him out of this world. No, that's terrible. Oh. Moving on. Anyway, secret. They're killing a Legion. You'll again. get there. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh, and back in time for the wisdom rune. No, <laughs> not today, puppy. It's fine. And the rest. And now he might be dead. Although, the turnaround at Zantic. He's low. He needs to get off the boundless strike here. He needs to do it onto a tiger, which isn't the Ursa, but he does find it in the end. Gets him onto Wesson, heals himself up. And now Orchid out onto the Ursa as well, closing down the gap. Right click's coming through. Avalanche tries to get away, won't be able to do so. As also, the Lina's dead on the top side. Mr. Luck looking onto Kaisko. They go for the duel here onto Kaisko. Oh, he's going to get him. He goes down. Toby also going to fall him. here. Mr. Luck, he's online. All right, instantly get the blade now. No, no, leave him alone. Come on, leave him alone. give him Come a on. break. Give the man a minute for Pete's sake. Let him breathe for a second. The difference between rank 50 and rank 300 is crazy. So obviously rank 300 to 700, 800, 900, etc. is also going to be the same. But this fight is starting. It is, yes. And uh, Atlantic's actually going to drop here. They've got the damage to bring him down. So Neon gets the kill onto Azantic, getting himself a godlike spree in the process. Kai's coat on the run, trying to get himself away, but he's not going to escape. And it's another duel for the Legion Commander. It's not a comeback, but, you know, it's just a little bit of shakiness. A little bit lame. Wesson, get yourself out of there, bro. He's not going to escape. He dies to the Lina, then Ursa jumps to Venno. Uh, there are some really good tools for the, the big comebacks, but... Oh, I was just about, about to say, I was just about to say, wait, hold, living, Avalanche survives, oh, look, rest. and now they look for a bit of revenge, but Azantic straight down onto the Lina, Marcy comes jumping on this one, Lina just trying to blow up Azantic, but Kaisko's here to keep him alive, keep him fighting, and bring down Sub Neon, Wesson's dead as well as they'll kill off Jakiro, Azantic the Dragon Slayer brings him down, for some reason Mr. Lux joined in on this one as well, he will get on board the feed train, and he will die. What a pretty situation, that's for sure. And oh, it Lena continues. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how dare you, Lena? How dare you try to cast a spell on that creep wave? Learn your lesson. Jakiro also going to get run down now as well. We'll take a little look at the uh, net worth if you guys really, really want. Oh, look. Actually, Lena's with that godlike streak. Yeah. is actually doing all right, but... Uh... Oh. Duel comes out, but the Wukong's command is there. Three heroes stuck inside the Wukong's, and uh, well, Zerkin, Mr. Luck, and Avalanche all going to meet their doom. They'll turn over to Western now as well. Marcy trying her best to fight up. They're just going to run straight past her, look for Sup Neil, who's going to blow up Puppy. The uh, tributary Puppy kill always coming in, but everybody else is just going to get taken down in a matter of instance, and there it is again. GG. GG is called. That's when Mansa tags his own Ooh. facet for some reason. Damn. Okay, so.